boys and girls, we're back in the art room again this week, and I'm very excited about our new lesson. Today we're going to talk about still life. A still life is a work of art of a non-living, non-moving object. Artists loved to create still life because it was great practice. When you draw a person, sometimes they need a bathroom break, sometimes they are tired, want to get up, maybe need a snack. That vase with flowers right there is not going anywhere. I can take as long as I need to to practice drawing and painting and observing. Another object that people like to create a lot of still life with is your bowl of food. And today that's what we are going to be doing. Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Samsel in the kitchen. And today we're going to learn about still life and creating a work of art with something that is still. And I'm in the kitchen because I have a bowl of fruit here in Mrs. Samsel's kitchen. I know I need to do a little grocery shopping, but I have a sweet potato in there, um, some bananas, a lemon, a lime, and an apple. And so a lot of artists have food in their house or flowers in their house. And so they'll draw from observation, from things that are still and not moving. That's what a still life is. Hi boys and girls. So you saw in Mrs. Samsel's kitchen that I had a bowl of fruit. And for our still life, the only fruit that we're gonna draw is an apple. And in our picture today, we need a white piece of paper and we're gonna make three big apples and some fun colors in our background. So with an apple, if we look at this shape, an apple is pretty round. And so I wanna make three big circles. And it doesn't have to be perfect because if you look, an apple has a bunch of bumps on it in different shapes. This side is shorter, this side is bigger. Um, so I don't want you to feel like you need to trace a circle and make it perfect because we're just gonna do our best. So our goal is to have three apples on our paper. So your paper layout is horizontal, not tall. And I'm gonna start in the middle with one big apple and then the two on the side. So I'm gonna start by just making one big circle that my fingers can fit in, two big circles, and three big circles. And my circles are all different kinds of shapes or different sizes. And so what I wanna do now is look at how the stem of the apple goes inside. So I'm gonna make a stem, which is like a rectangle, on the top of each apple. So again, I have one, two, three big circles. And then in the middle, I have a stem. Now under that stem, I'm gonna make a smile. And that smile is about as wide as my finger. And now I can connect it to my apple shape. So I'm gonna just connect that out. Notice that I draw pretty light in the beginning so I can erase my mistakes. I understand that's very hard for you because you want to press really hard, but if you press light when you go to erase, then you won't have so many marks. When you press as hard as I'm pressing now, I can't erase. Okay, so there we go. There's three apples. My apples are going to be on the table. So, I could take a ruler if I wanted to. If you don't have one, no worries. My table is going to have a mark here. It's gonna jump over my apple, have a mark here, jump over my apple, have a mark here, and jump over my apple. Now my apples are sitting on the table, just like this one. And now I have the wall behind it. That's it, boys and girls. Three apples. 
So a still life is sitting still. My apple's not going anywhere. Now I get to color. So we're gonna color with some markers and crayons today. And I'm going to begin with the markers outlining my apples. I'm gonna begin with the markers today outlining my apples and then I can color some patterns on the wall and the table. So I'm gonna have a red apple I wonder what other color apples are. Hmm. Have you seen a purple apple? No. A green apple? Yes. So let's make a green apple. We like red apples in Mrs. Samsel's house. Sometimes green. We don't buy a lot of yellow apples, but I know there are some. So I'm gonna make a yellow apple. You can make your apples any color you want. Red, green, or yellow. But don't make black apples. I wouldn't eat a black apple. Or blue. Just use these three colors. So you could do all three red, all three green. Just some kind of mixture of a red apple, a green apple, and a yellow apple. Color that stem brown. Now I can use my crayons to color inside. When we color inside, we don't want to scribble. We want to keep it inside the marker line we made. And I told you in the last art lesson that if you press light, it won't hurt your hand and you won't get tired from coloring. My red apple. Notice I'm coloring up and down. I'm not all different directions. It makes it look nicer. And my yellow apple. Now, if you want, you can stop here today and tomorrow cut, color your background, or you can keep going and finish the lesson with me today. So on the background, I am gonna come up with some lines and patterns. So I am going to make a straight line. In blue. And next to the straight line, I'm gonna make a wavy line in blue. And I'm not coloring through my apple. The next line, so you can use any color you want for your background in marker. And I want us to practice our lines. So this is your straight line, wavy line. Now I'm gonna do zigzag. The next line is dotted. And then I'm gonna end on the sides with some spirals. So those are Miss Samsel's favorite line. You start in the middle and then you go out bigger and bigger around it. So to review, we have our straight line, our zigzag line, our wavy line, our dotted line, and spiral line. Say it with me this time. Straight line, 
zigzag line, wavy line, dotted line, spiral line. Good job. And I'm gonna finish up with the line of the table. Now you can color behind here in any color markers you want. I'm gonna come up with a pattern and I'm gonna use some purple and orange and pink. And I'm gonna color in between the sections. Remember, you can pause it anytime you need to while you're working. And I'm just looking at the sections I have um, that I want to color. And if you wanna just leave it with your lines and not color the back, that's up to you. It's your artwork. I'm gonna use this fun blue color. And I'm just gonna color all of this blue. Now that I have the background all colored with my lines, it looks beautiful, my apples, I have to think about what I wanna do for my table. So for my table, I'm gonna use purple and I'm gonna write my name because that's something I need to practice. And if I write my name in this corner, I might write run out of space. So I always start in the left corner. So hold your hand, you got the L for a left, and then the other hand becomes your R, which is your right. So the L is left, and then this is backwards, so I know that's my right. So on the left part of my paper, I'm gonna write my name. Mrs. Samso. And I could leave my table white, I could color it all purple. I'm very excited to see what you decide to do. And there we go. That's our very simple still life of an apple. We have one, two, three apples. Straight line, zigzag line, wavy line, dotted line, and spiral line. Don't forget to play your cleanup song, clean up your mess, and take a picture and share it with Miss Samsel. You can pause it and take the whole week to complete the lesson. Work at your pace, own pace, and have lots of fun. See you next time.